today we're going to show you how to edit the pitch and timing of your vocals using the AAX version of Repitch with Pro Tools. Now for this tutorial, I'm using Pro Tools Ultimate and the latest version that's available at the time that I'm doing this video. But if you're using an older version of Pro Tools, please refer to our website so you can see if your particular version is supported. Lastly, this video is to help get you started. More in-depth tutorials can be found on our website. So let's get to it. Now, before we start processing, let's listen to what we're working with. Just cause I don't want you first, it doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name, don't need your dreams, no, you can keep your number. Okay, so on the whole, I think that vocal sounds great, but for sake of demonstration, let's say that we want this tuned to 100% in the most transparent and natural way possible. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to head over to my inserts section over here and let's just type in repitch. So I'm going to type in REP and you can see that we have repitch mono available over here. Now, another way that we could do this is simply by navigating to the synchro arts category and we have repitch mono available there as well. So first things first, we have a couple different options in terms of some pre-processing if we wanted to do this. And what I mean by this is that if you wanted to apply some processing that takes place the minute the audio is ingested, we have this drop-down menu over here where SyncroArts has provided some presets. So for example, vocal, snap all to note centers 100%. This will essentially take the whole entire performance and snap it to the nearest semitone based on a chromatic scale. But in this case, I'm gonna leave it set to the option to do no pre-process and we're gonna use manual editing only because I wanna use some of the tools over here to get this performance in line. Now in terms of transferring this into repitch, all we need to do is select the clip, arm the capture and press play. Just cause I don't want to burst It doesn't mean I won't find another I don't want to know your name Don't need your dreams, no You can keep your number Alright, so before we get started Just a quick couple navigation tips We have this scroll bar which we can move from left to right We can also drag out the handles on the left and right side in addition, we also have some really, really useful key commands. So for example, holding Option and Command on a Mac or Alt and Control on a PC gives us the ability to dynamically scroll our audio contents over here. Holding down Shift and Command on a Mac or Shift and Control on a PC gives us the ability to click, hold, drag to reposition. So this can be really useful in terms of navigating. Now we also have a couple other different options. For example, if I wanted to zoom this particular area into view, I could make a highlighted selection across these pitch blocks and click the Z key. This would now be zoomed into view. So there's a couple different ways that we could approach this, but I think the easiest one for this is just going to be selecting all of these pitch blocks and I'm going to call up the center notes tool. Now when we call up the center notes tool, watch what happens as I start to drag this. Everything is just being knocked into pitch and this is based on the nearest semitone. So let's have a listen to this result. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name. Don't need your drinks, no. You can keep your number. Okay, and as a reminder of where we started. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find another. Okay, so I think that has worked for pretty much everything except one area. I'm going to switch back to my main selector tool. And let's just zoom in on this specific section. And if we take a look at this pitch block over here, I'm gonna temporarily use the S key to use my split tool. And I'm just going to separate this. Now this is snapped up here. And notice that this is below here. I actually wanna return this back to its natural position, which we can do just by double clicking. And I think that's going to sound great. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean... Perfect. So now at this point, we're ready to render our results. And the way that we do this is in Pro Tools, I'm just going to right click and choose commit up to this insert. Now we've got a couple different choices in terms of whether you want the edit selection on track or the whole entire clip. I'm gonna leave everything set as is. And in terms of the source tracks, we have the option to either hide and make inactive or make inactive. Let's go ahead and render this. So now at this point, I have my original lead vocal backed up if I ever need to use it. I'm going to right click and hide this. And let's now take a listen to our end result. So 
that's using Repitch with Pro Tools AAX mode. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next video.